statistics two by two table. Imagine a scenario where you've got a screening test for prostate cancer. So the screening test can either be positive or the screening test can say negative and prostate cancer can be absent or prostate cancer can truly be there. So imagine 84 patients where the screening test says positive for prostate cancer the prostate cancer is actually absent. So this works out as a false positive. 39 patients where the screening test is positive for prostate cancer and they actually do have prostate cancer. So this is a true positive. 494 patients where the screening test says negative for prostate cancer and prostate cancer is actually absent. So a true negative. And finally, 76 patients where the screening test says negative for prostate cancer but they actually do have prostate cancer. So this is a false negative. We're now going to go through a number of statistical equations without going into the background at all. So the first one we're going to do is sensitivity and we're going to imagine the following very sensitive situation. A young lady is 23 weeks pregnant and she has a twin pregnancy. She decides to terminate the pregnancy and you have to fight your negativity about the situation. So twin pregnancy, TP, terminate pregnancy, TP, and fight your negativity, FN. So sensitivity equals true positive divided by the true positive plus the false negative, which equals 39 over 39 plus 76, which equals 0.34 or 34%. It's the same thing. Next, we have specificity. So continuing from the previous scenario, tears no more two new additional family people. T is no more, TN, two new, TN, and family people, FP. So specificity equals the true negative, 494, divided by the true negative, 494, plus the false positive, 84, which equals 0.85 or 85%. Next, prevalence, which equals the number of patients with the condition divided by the total number of patients tested, which equals the right hand column, patients who actually have the condition, 39 plus 76 divided by all four boxes. So 39 plus 76 plus 84 plus 494, which equals 0.16 or 16%. Next we have positive predictive value. This equals the true positive divided by the true positive plus the false negative, i.e. identical to the equation above. However, the P in positive changes the FN, the false negative, into a FP in P for false positive. So all of the three elements end in P. The negative predictive value equals the true negative over the true negative plus the false positive. And again, it's the same as specificity, except again, the N of negative turns the FP into FN. So all of the endings have N for negative. Likelihood ratio positive equals sensitivity divided by one minus specificity. So to remember which one goes on top, 
just remember the order of the story. We had sensitivity first, and then we spoke about specificity. Likelihood ratio negative is the same as likelihood ratio positive, but it's inverted, so the N is for the negative. So the first thing that's inverted is the sensitivity goes to the bottom, and the 1 minus specificity goes to the top. Then there's a second inversion of the two terms within the equation. So sensitivity goes to the top and specificity goes underneath.